You are watching WPTV. Welcome back. My name is Matt Kammer, and I'm so excited to be back hosting the first segment of Lights, Camera, Action of the season. With me today, I have Samori Rose to discuss the very controversial Venom movie that came out this past weekend. Reviews have been uh, more than negative for this movie, but Samori, what did you think? Well, first of all, thanks for having me, but of Venom, course. this movie wasn't good. No, Not I at all. agree. Not at all. I agree. The first <laughs> thing, the plot was horrendous. That was, my, that was my main problem with this movie, was the plot and the writing. I mean, like, what, what specifically about the plot did you hate the most? Like, you know, like, you know, everything happened so fast, like, yeah. his, his issue with Drake, like, there was no explanation to why he had the issue with him. Mm -hmm. And then, like, he broke up with his girl, and then six months later, it just happened so fast. Yeah, that came out of nowhere. She was just like, yeah, we're engaged, we're gonna get married, like, in what? She cut like, him off real quick. Like a few months? <laughs> yeah. And then, like, one thing, and she's like, nah, I'm gone, I'm out of your life, take your ring back. Like, yeah. you piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 that seems so weird to me. But, I mean, like, Tom Hardy, I feel, did an okay job. As, like, given, I mean, with what he was given, what did you think? Like, how did you think he performed? Tom Hardy, he's an amazing actor. And mm -hmm. I think he did a good performance, but, you know, Eddie Brock to me was just written so wrong, you know. If you see in the comics, he's like a hard guy. He's like, he's not soft, you know. They made Eddie Brock look really soft. Really soft. And, you know, it kind of made me appreciate Topher Grace a little bit. Just a little, just a little yeah. bit, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, if Topher Grace had a little bit less screaming in his role as Venom, that would have that been okay. Of course, yeah. But, I mean, when I was hearing Tom Hardy talk as, uh, as uh, Brock, it just sounded to me like Christopher Walken on the third day of a bender. Like, <laughs> it, it, it hurt me to hear his voice yeah. throughout the movie. It just, like, wore on my nerves, you yeah, know. He, he didn't have much to get to go with. Yeah. So, you know, I think he did the best he could with it. Yeah. Um, I mean, what did you think of, like, th that final battle with Riot? I mean... Visually, they look really cool on screen together. Yeah. Like when they were coming out of each other, fighting each other, and then the symbiotes were out of each other too. That was like really awesome. Oh, that, yeah. That to me, that's the, that, that was the best part of the movie, but. Yeah, when they were getting all like wrapped up within each yeah, other and but, stuff like that. I don't know. You know, they were passing the symbiote off like cooties, and that's not. <laughs> like cooties. That's not how it's supposed to be. You know, that's not very accurate to the comics to me. Yeah, right. Um, what, how was the movie in terms of that? I mean, in terms of like accurate to the lore, like. You know, they got Venom's color right on his costume. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. That's about it. You know, they need Spider-Man in this movie. It's very apparent that they needed Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's in San Francisco. Eddie Brock's from New York, you know. Yeah. That, that's just really off to me, you know. It's in San Francisco. It's in hot weather. It's not the case. And then, like, the way the people get the symbiote, like, they're touching them. That's not how it's supposed to be, you know. The host, they find somebody. They find a host, and they attach to them. But, you know, the touch thing, that's, that was really off for me. Right. I mean, it, it did feel like something was just missing from the movie. I mean, it felt like there was just a big aspect of the movie missing, like Spider-Man. Um, you know, the villain of Riot felt just dry to me. I feel very, like if very it... Very dry. Yeah, very dry. I mean, the motivations behind that character, we were talking about the motivations behind the girlfriend, uh, fiancé <laughs> character, but the motivations behind the villain, it just kind of seemed like I'm bad because I'm supposed to be the villain in the plot. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I mean? the plot wasn't very good. Actually, to me, it was awful. But yeah, right. Like, it never really explained his motives behind anything. Right. You know, um, hopefully, it, if, I mean, if they do decide to um, make another Venom movie, I mean, I know Tom Hardy claimed there's going to be a Venom verse, but we can't really. I hope not. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really I hope, hope not. not. <laughs> but I mean, the end credit scene kind of gave us a little shine of light into that. Yeah. And I was wondering what your thoughts were. Woody Harrelson looks phenomenal as Cletus Cassidy. Yeah. If you look at the comic strip and compare the two, he looks exactly like him. And you know, hopefully maybe we get a Venom versus Carnage, maybe a little like Freddy versus Jason. Let's hope it's not as bad as that. <laughs> no. But you know, I think maybe we could be on the, the right trail with that. Yeah. Because I um, think he's very accurate to him. If you look at a comic strip, he's very, very accurate to him. Yeah, and I mean, just the psychopath, like serial killer vibe. Yeah. Woody Harrelson just kind of gives that off as he's walking down the street, <laughs> yeah, like very, going to Starbucks. Like, mm -hmm. So I don't really know. Um, I don't really know if I, I believe in it just because of Carnage. I, I have faith in Woody Harrelson pulling off the Carnage role because without him kind of nailing that in the future, I don't think that there's really much they can do with this, uh, Not at all. With this series. I mean, do you think that maybe they're going to consider merging with the MCU now C since this movie kind of flopped so hard? 
I don't know if the MCU wants them. The MCU, <laughs> to me, they're too good to have stuff like this around. Yeah. So, I don't, if I was the MCU, maybe I would take the character Venom, you know, repackage him a little bit, and then introduce him to, like, the Spider-Man universe. You know, Spider-Man Far From Home is coming soon. Right. So, and then he'll be on his third movie by the time they introduce Venom. Maybe they could do some things with that, but I'm not sure. I, don't, I really don't want to see Venom in the MCU. I don't think he fits right about now. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, like we've learned with Fox, big studios can only take a number of flops with, like, Marvel characters. I mean, Fantastic Four, the new one was just garbage, and then it turned out that Fox made a deal with the MCU, so now they're merging. Yes. I mean, I'm wondering if kind of the same thing is going to happen with Sony now. Who could tell? Who knows? Yeah, who could tell? I mean, like, with the superhero genre being, like, what it is, everyone kind of wants, like, a hand in the bag, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't think Sony's really going to give up Venom anytime soon. I don't think so either, you know? Um, Venom, to me, like, MCU got Spider-Man, so I guess Venom's going to be their big character now. So they're going to have to work things around him. And, you know, to me, this wasn't a very good starting point. No, it, I, I don't think it was at all. I mean just the character of Venom, it just seems like he can't carry a, a, a series. Yeah, I don't think you know? so either, but you know, they made him look like a good guy, and that's, yeah. that's something he's not. And Venom is not a good guy at all. Right, and what did you think of them trying to kind of like force some wittiness in there? Like, kind of like what the MCU's been doing? Oh, they, they gotta stop that. It was, they have to stop. It was not good. <laughs> because Venom's a dark character, so you know, when he's like joking around and stuff, it just seems off. It just seems not natural. Yeah, like when Venom was in his head, he was calling him very funny. Th that was funny. Yeah, but yeah, other yeah. than that, you know, the humor was very, very bad to me. Right. It did, to me, it didn't fit in the movie. Right, and I mean, kind of tying back to like the dialogue and the writing and stuff, it seemed like the interactions between all the characters just weren't natural at all. The only conversations that I could kind of like stand <laughs> myself as in the audience was between Venom and Eddie Brock. Yeah, to, th those were the best conversations. Yeah, those were. That, you know, that everything really else it. to me felt forced, and you know, right. anything feeling forced in a movie is not going to be good. Right. Well, thanks for thanks for being on the block with me. Um, sorry we had to start it off with such a <laughs> anticlimactic movie, <laughs> but um, that's all the time we have for this week's lights, camera, action. But stick around for Hot or Not from New York Comic Con coming up next. That's it.